Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some blue red prowess, kind of prioritizing new cards in terms of the otter, which is a very nice prowess creature. It can be blocked with creatures to less power than it. And the green side is really nice, but we didn't splash for it this time around because the mana base was kind of hard to justify it. Other card that we get is quick study. Instant speed, three mana, draw two cards. Feels really nice. And sleight of hand. We get to look at the top two cards of the library, put one in our hand, one on the bottom. This is also important to note that this is nice to have over something like consider whenever your opponent could be playing Fairy Mastermind. This doesn't actually draw a card, it puts it straight in your hand, so you don't give your opponent's value like you would if you're playing consider. But this is the list if you want to look at it and take it. Other than that, we're just going to hop right into the matches to see how they go. If there's ever been one way to guarantee a land, you play a Delver on turn one. And if it lives to your turn, it'll be a land or a creature on top. I'm not saying I told you so, but... I mean, of all creature draws, like, that's not the worst. Put a stop on our upkeep, hopefully, here. We'll fire off this play of fire. I mean, Delver's not flipping, but guaranteeing a land drop here is... Sure, I'll reveal. I think I'll play a Balmore here. Then Delver doesn't have to get big. Balmore will make it big. No lockdown here. That would have been so sick. Let's fire off the Rend Resolve. Prowess coming in. What are we losing here? Sure. Jeez. The hard part about counter spells and being on the draw, but depopulate is coming in. Play a shredder, pass it up. Try this off one instead. What is that draw? Or shut her up. Cast a rend resolve. Trigger both these. We're digging for like burn at this point. Can we find one. Although, I mean, this screams. Screams wandering emperor. Which doesn't really make me want to attack, but I feel like I have to. Oh, it's memory deluge. I thought it was Wandering Emperor. I don't think I can be faulted for that. Well, let this hit. I'm gonna play into a board wipe. Rather play Delver after. I wanna play Delver first. I want to move to combat. And the reason why is because I want to lightning strike them in response to maybe a wandering emperor or something here in Gonjo. Okay. I guess I could have cast lightning strike and maybe saved it. That was a punt. Might not have mattered. All right, definitely punted. But we still got there. I go first, I have Delver on turn one into maybe Balmore or maybe the Otter. If I find another one drop, it'll obviously be Otter. We wanna play Delver and not have it flip. You know how that goes. Could be just removed right here straight up. Ah, what a flipped. It's not fair. It's just not fair sometimes. 
First time I would have flipped a Delver here, and it doesn't happen. Yeah, so Rend Resolve. Try to dig for that land if we can. We don't hit. I'm gonna play with fire to answer this. There's a squee. That kind of sucks. We found a play with fire to answer the squee. Let us cast Sleight of Hand here. See if we can't find land. We do. Okay. Oh, is it Shredder or Play with Fire? I think it's got to be Play with Fire on the squee. And then we're just going to hold Balmore back. After we, of course, play the Otter. Shredder is not fun to let go, but I think we had to. My God, big dog. I mean, yeah. I'm not stopping that anytime soon. Um, play another Uther. I guess realistically if we're gonna try to win here we need to attack why we can and we need to get through this turn have them commit to an attack and then hope we can get through i think waiting with this big of a trampler in play is just not going to be enough never mind we're dead i think we're dead right Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll die to play with fire. Is my opponent dead? Maybe. None of those are good. Um, but I think they're dead. Just don't play with fire me. It's a joke. Okay. Get to go first? Nice. I love going first. It's just like cheating. We're not mono red, promise. Oh, four color. I haven't seen four color come out to play in a minute. We'll play about more here. Ghost Spear has haste, Balmore does not. Balmore can give us more damage the next coming turns. Although, Leyline Binding is an option. Actually, it's not. It is a Traxa. So, we do have to be worried about that. Swift Spear. I think we just keep digging. Balmore's going to give these Trample. Okay, they have a turn, which is kind of crazy to think about. Because I have land drop, sleight of hand, sleight of hand, lightning strike, and that'll definitely be enough to end the game. No white mana. It's just jund. Sometimes it'd be like that, team. They play drag to the bottom and they only have three land types like can't win them all Next fun with three land types uh and they had to use their briefcase man that sucks hey Look at you. Is that lethal, pretty much. Three, six, nine. Yeah.
Even if they flip out like an attracts or anything like that, we are fine. <sighs> Could it be a life gain spell? If I remove this, it doesn't matter. I win no matter what if I remove this, right? No, because then they could have a removal spell. I guess I just play that they don't have... This could be a light gain spell. I will decline. Take it. Any strike? I don't know. I don't know if they have like a spell pierce. Which is why I should have lightning strike and then lightning strike on my turn. But you know, it's fine. What is that? The top 20 cards like, reveal two creature cards from among them. If that spell is bargain, reveal this card, put them on the battlefield. Otherwise, reveal. <laughs> I know that's a slow roll, but I didn't know what that was. I think we can got some new cards. That's crazy. Go first. Yeah, that's better. Which is weird. To feel like to throw those aside, but generally I need three lands. I would like to find one outside of that. We get a free trade here. No, okay. They've been sweet. I would have taken it. lands hmm I mean that's gonna hit I had not stopping that one big dog nope not me That's me, not now. Okay. A little bonk. I feel so good about throwing that land to the bottom now, by the way, because we've just hit lands. Also, cultured, by the way. Look at him. Matching. Lightning striking me. Yep. Hmm? Er, is that an instant speed spell? That was instant speed. They could have done that if I chose to block, by the way. And I could do it here. I think I have to block. We call the bluff. Did I just play with fire here? We'll lose my shredder, but. Oh, shredder sticks around. Very nice. All right, let's establish a bow more. And now, now I'm feeling real good. Getting the Swiss spear in there. Don't you worry. 
It'll figure out our game plan later. Now we just need like a rend resolve. Be very nice here. As long as you control two or more non-land permanents enter as long as two or more non-land permanents enter the battlefield under your control this turn, is a dragon with base power 4 4 and flying with dragon fire on it. Sure. One permanent entered the battlefield this turn. We want to hold this play with fire for our upkeep here. My turn, play with fire. We want to make sure that we're finding a spell that we want. Land? Not quite it. This spell? Decent spell. More likely to find a play with fire and an island than I am other things. I guess a Balmor can go. Just sure. That kind of sucks. We'll have a Balmor back. Maybe I should attack like this instead. This Balmor can give us lethal. The other cannot. Will they block here? I doubt it. My doubts are confirmed. The only problem is we don't have a whole lot of spells coming down the pipeline. We's pretty good. This will become a dragon. They know that. Or will they play around that? Well, bend this. Now this can block it freely. It couldn't before. This would have flipped into a 4-4 they could have attacked. So they see it there. Uh, we block freely. We block freely. Two, five, six. Sure. And then we just do this. It's enough by a mile. I guess it was enough anyway. Didn't realize it was just enough anyway. We hit him. Going first with this hand's a little weird, but sure. This is one of our, this is probably one of our worst hands. Drawing a land though makes it very good. And if this sticks, turn one. Fire this off. The fire can be gone. You can for that land, we find it. Play this boy. Might even, depending what they do, we might even play land and try to flip this. Although we could get blown out. Thalia. That. So this incline makes me definitely want to flip this. Just to give it that, give it that prowess. Or not that prowess, but that ward two there. We have pack for three. They can gain two of it back. So they really only got hit for one. Cut down, can't remove this. Go for the throat, cannot, because it'll get countered. But if they play a void rend here, they have the they have the mana for it. They definitely could. We don't see it though. What is your play, opponent? Let's put a shredder on the stack and see if it sticks. Now let's try Swiss Spear. Might be overstretching the board state into something like a depopulate because a lot of times that's what these end up being. Which if that's the case, we might need this quick study back to get these back into the game. So I think we just left the land go. We'll see. I'd lose the swift spear, of course. Just some like flash creature. Go for the throat on Shredder. Okay. It makes sense. Shredder can get pretty complicated to deal with. No depopulate there. Nice. Of course, we love that for us. We'll cast this quick study. If we can hold up this Odawara, we will. 
What? Snapped resolved? One. We're going to keep going. I would assume they have something. I don't know what would be holding so much priority here. Of course, I'm going in. Just have to here. My opinion. We could lose our here to a go for the throat technically, but we're going to get this exiled. They think Emperor untapped, but they're going to minus now on it. Okay. That makes more sense. I was like, that seems weird. That did not seem like the best play I've seen of all time. Attack, giving us an opportunity to remove their Emperor. Well, kind of giving us an opportunity to remove their Emperor. We are going to develop and we're going to use this turn. We're going to take this turn off and we're going to try to end the game next turn. If we can, of course. We might just get controlled out of the game here. Wandering Emperor is pretty solid against these prowess decks. It alone can win the matchups just like it can against. If you have another Wandering Emperor, I'm not winning anyway. Okay. We have one red. I can go out like a champ. Lose my own stuff. Okay. If I flip this, it gets prowess, prowess. They have six. There's so much life. We have to cast this. We have to go for something. Don't get there. It happens. Any deck with Wandering Emperor and life gain is going to be hard for us to beat in the first place. Like, we hit them so often, they're at 16. Like, not a favored matchup best of one not really going to pull those out very often but when you do you feel good about it talking about the deck this deck i like it it's pretty cool the only real issue is like we don't get the fully benefit from the honor where like you would really like to with the distribute of the one one counters which technically you just cast this for a single green just to kind of up the prowess on some of this stuff but with the land base currently as it is, and what we have for green, it's kind of hard to fit that in just for this. And maybe we could find ourselves in some world playing something like a Tyvar stand to maybe protect and be a little bit more all in on these threats. And like Balmore and just like protect them and maybe cut the Shredder and Delver and just... That seems like a lot to cut, but maybe definitely the Delvers and maybe leave the Shredders or something with Swiss Spear. And just using like Tyvar stands and stuff to protect these and try to play that game plan and just worry about using this this is kind of like a one-shot cannon effect in them spots i'm not really sure where to take the deck or maybe even we pivot into jeskai and then we play the nars set or something like that monastery mentor i tried mentor originally but it was the same scenario where i was only playing the white for that card but there might be a white spell that I'm missing. Like, Duelist is also pretty sweet in terms of dealing three damage to any target. And maybe I should be playing Duelist, where my spells also have lifelink. So in that mono red matchup in Mirror, we actually have kind of an out to play this on two and then play with fire them and then gain two and make all of our spells get a lot more value that way. So I'm definitely interested in trying it with, like, Heart Flame and Duelist and stuff like that. Or Monastery Mentor, because we... We have our easy cuts in terms of these two together here and just going that route and maybe like 
take Balmor out, splash some maybe other white, maybe a surge with how popular some decks are. But Quick Study felt fine. Quick Study is really good, along with Ren's Resolve, and then Light of Hand felt good as well. I think it felt better than Consider, because sometimes you have a good spell on top, but you know you have better spells in your deck that you might want to play in the first place. Now, you don't get to go to combat and then Consider to kind of do it as a combat trick, but... I think getting to see both cards instead of just only seeing one and deciding on that one alone and then throwing it away and drawing a land is just way more valuable whenever you're trying to push through with a strong card like Spell Spear and Balmor giving your creatures trample anyway. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's definitely fun. I did a lot of testing beforehand and it was not going well. So... This final build might have just been like a lucky streak of runs, but I was getting kind of crushed previously. But I kind of stumbled into this and it went well. I think I was on the play quite a lot too, so that is definitely something else to consider. But it felt fine. Like, fine. But you got to mid range and late game. You just, these didn't feel like they reached a lot of times, and a lot of people were playing life gain right now because mono red and uh aggro fairies and stuff like that's popular so be careful if this is what you're trying to play and i hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll see you around in the next